From his early beginnings on C Street in North Wilkesboro, Jay Anderson had two passions, music and history. He put his mind toward the study of both. His acceptance to Wake Forest started that path. After a stint in the Army during World War II, he pursued music in New Jersey and actually got the chance to play at Carnegie Hall. In the 1950s, family called him back to Wilkes County, and we are all the better. That path back opened decades of exploration for Jay Anderson into the people, places, and events woven into the fabric of our community. Jay left a legacy of knowledge to us. He was passionate about history before we had a museum and before we had much written um, history of the county. He really wanted Wilkes to keep its own history and to be proud of it. He didn't want Wilkes County history to go to an archive in Chapel Hill or Raleigh. He wanted it to stay here. He was an educator. He was at Clingman Elementary School for a while. And then for years, he was at Wilkes Community College. I think just from the amount of time and dedication he spent to compiling histories of Wilkes County, that he loved, he loved the county. He was a real unique person. He was a kind person. He had a kind of a wry sense of humor. I think he was interested in people. He had a great interest, of course, in Wilkes County. He was a history teacher at the community college. One of the great things he did while he was teaching was to help kids appreciate their own personal heritage. And he, he calls kids to, to learn their own family history and uh, have more pride. I would say that was one of the, the greatest gifts that he left. I think he loved Wilkes County. He grew up in Wilkes County. The histories that he has compiled for, I mean, there was the book, The First Hundred Years of North Wilkesboro. It's history that would be lost without his compilations. North Wilkesboro in particular is relatively young compared to the rest of the state. It wasn't incorporated, I think, until 1890. And so when Jay was born in 1915, there was still a lot of growth happening. So he knew history, it was surrounded him. And so it was pretty logical, I would say, for him to reach out to, especially the older people, and ask them to share their stories. Because we're better to get it than, you know, from someone who experienced it. He helped us understand ourselves better. He taught us, you know, what we, what, what we can learn from history and how doesn't matter that you're from a small town, you know, a rural background. It doesn't, that doesn't limit you. It shouldn't limit you, you know, particularly with the resources we have now. I think that we could all benefit from a little bit of Jay's curiosity. Jay had the ability to unite people and to encourage them to do big things. And so he didn't consider himself the official historian of Wilkes County. Instead, he worked to found or worked with groups like the Wilkes Historical Society, the Genealogy Society, Wilkes Retired School Personnel, to encourage them to write books and to collect history and to preserve local landmarks and to organize historical tours because he knew how important it was and he knew that it wasn't possible for one person to be responsible for that on his own. Whatever he took on to do, he did it to the best of his ability. Whenever anything was given to our church in his honor, he always would say, give that to the Boys Town home or give that to someone else. He was just a good person. Odds and ends, Wilkes County sketches, a disjointed history. Jay never took himself too seriously and he never strayed too far from those early loves from C Street and North Wilkesboro High School. Music and history may not seem as important in a world that's focused on math and science, but they are the roots. They're what tie us together. And we understand those ties that bind better here in our part of the world, thanks to the newest member of the Wilkes County Hall of Fame, Jay Anderson. Accepting on behalf of Jay Anderson is a former colleague, Janet Atwood and Christy Earp. So what do you know about Wilkes County history? Did you know that our first European settler, a man named Christopher Gist, 
was the grandfather of the famous Cherokee Sequoia, who created the Cherokee alphabet in 1821, or that William Lenore, Wilkes County's first clerk of court, became the first president of the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina. Or that, even though we're fond of remembering the more colorful elements of our past, like the murders and the moonshine, we can also celebrate the fact that over the past 200 years, we have been home to over 100 schools, more than 20 newspapers, and many poets, writers, artists, and musicians. Jay Anderson wasn't the first person to discover these things, but he made it his life's work to pursue the records of our past, to seek out the people who lived our history, and to record their stories. He has given us access to our rich heritage through his many books, newspaper articles, and oral histories. Jay wrote the following, note of appreciation in his 1976 book, Wilkes County Sketches, and I'll quote that here. The research and many hours spent on this have convinced me more than ever that Wilkes County is indeed a wonderful place in which to live. The land is heaven blessed. But even more, the people of Wilkes are wonderful. From the first to the present day citizens, there has been and is insistence on freedom of thought and action. Now, I hesitate to admit this since I also came into being in 1976, but it's been 47 years since these words were recorded. A lot has changed in our county in those years, but I think Jay would sincerely hope that the people of Wilkes still value our history and that we still insist upon freedom of thought and action. On behalf of Jay Anderson, Janet Atwood, and Wilkes Community College, thank you for this recognition of Jay Anderson.